Hey everyone, welcome back to the program. Today I'm gonna to be checking out the Retro Store. Now this is a relatively new monthly subscription service based in the UK and how they're different is that they have different types of boxes that you can buy into. So they have video games, cassettes, comics, and of course vinyl, which is what we're gonna be checking out today. Um, and a little bit about them is uh, all their stuff is used. So you're not gonna be getting new stuff but for the price of one new record you're going to be getting three records in this box and that's kind of the same for all their boxes you get three to five items per box per month i think the pricing is pretty reasonable yeah this particular box is 25 pounds per month and that's with free uk shipping of course if you want to buy more months if you sign up ahead of time they give you a discount but keep in mind this is uk shipping so in europe i think it's pretty reasonable but for us here in the united states it's going to be a bit more the good thing is though there's three records in here so you, you divide that up you're not looking it's not too bad shipping wise when you break it down that sense and that's what's kind of exciting hopefully there's stuff in here that I don't have, hopefully stuff I like, but at the very least, these are gonna be UK pressings. And even if I have that record already, it's gonna be great to have a UK pressing of it. So I'm, I'm excited to check this out. One thing before I open this up, I wanna let you know that they sent me this free of charge, but my opinions are my own. And with that, let's open this package up. So this is kind of your basic mailer that uh, I've never seen this style before. I, I'm sure it's more common in the UK where they're, they're, they're based, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna open it along right here. Nice and easy. Oh, they have a little, uh, a little thing right here that says, share your get retro moment and win. Take an amazing picture with your hand-picked retro box, put it on Facebook, Twitter, etc. And you could be in the running to win 250 pounds in retro vouchers every month. Yeah, so that's something interesting too, is that they have their own sort of retro bucks, sort of like the the longer you're a member, the more perks you get, which I think is uh, is pretty cool. So let's open this up. Oh, look at this. Oh, they gave me some candy? Is that what this is? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've never seen this candy. Oh my goodness. A chew bar and a wham with sour crystals. Ah, uh, wow. That sounds amazing. And um, I'm not sure they meant to give me a uh, Sony lens cap. That is interesting. I don't have a lens that's 49 millimeters, but who knows, maybe one day I'll have, oh, and there's a dumb stick, or sorry, a drumstick. <laughs> Freudian slip there, raspberry milk flavor, chewy lolly. Okay, that's very British in my opinion. Cool, so they have a little uh, little note here. Welcome to the club, it's great to have you. What do we got here? Oh, some Yoko, oh no, and John Lennon. Double fantasy. That's really cool. I think I own this, but let's check this out. Where, see if it's any different than the version I, oh no, this is different. That's cool, okay, I've never, I have to look at my copy. I have a US press and I just, I wasn't aware he, Put out stuff on Geffen. Oh, Pet Shop Boys. Yeah! How cool. And this is definitely made in the UK. I don't think I own any Pet Shop Boys. This one definitely needs to be cleaned. Looks a little dusty, but so far, not too terrible. Oh, no jacket required. I love, love, love this album. Phil Collins, classic. Oh, this already feels different. Manufactured in the UK. How cool is that? Oh, it's even, it's much thinner than my cop. This one actually, I think is a better shape than the one I have at home. Really thin vinyl though, how funny. And this one's uh, in really good shape as well. It's very dirty though. It feels a little dish to me though. Maybe, maybe it's just, my eyesight here. I took some time, I looked up uh, how much it would cost for these individual records. Uh, this Phil Collins is more like in the $5 range. This Pet Shop Boy surprisingly goes for a bit more. I estimate this to be in like the $15 range. And then this Double Fantasy record, more like the $7 range. Uh, so all together that's like, that's about 27 bucks plus uh, shipping for all of those. Uh, it's hard to, you know, find one seller for all of them. So you're thinking, you know, 
Um, if you can find them in the US, maybe three to five bucks per record, you know, this isn't that bad of a deal for the price of, eh, you know, maybe one new double LP. You get three records and they're, they're handpicked for you. So I don't know what that process is like. I haven't had that opportunity. But uh, with the fact that I had this handwritten note, I have to imagine that it's pretty hands-on. And I, I think that's pretty cool. Granted, I probably wouldn't have bought the Phil Collins or the John Lennon one on my own, but it's just cool to have those as uh, UK copies. And then the other thing too is like, say you get tired of vinyl, you wanna switch to cassettes or comics or even video games, you can do that. And I believe those retro bucks that you earn get applied to those boxes as well. The one thing though is uh, I know they're used records, but I feel like the, the, the actual records themselves could have been cleaned a little bit better. Uh, for the most part though, the Phil Collins and the, and the John Lennon one were pretty clean, but that Pet Shop Boys ones, I know it probably didn't show up on camera, but it, it could have been a little cleaner. Um, I just think, uh, you know, you're paying a premium for these records. I know they're used, but even when you go to a used record shop, they generally do a an efficient job, a quick but efficient job cleaning the actual vinyl. Uh, also, I feel like these could have come with some outer sleeves. I'm not saying anything like expensive, like six mil, you know, heavy, heavy uh, outer sleeves. And I'm not even talking about uh, inner sleeves, anti-static, but just something uh, maybe two mil just to protect these. And I think it would add a, a little extra touch to to these records, it, it make them feel a little bit more premium. Uh, but those are just minor little nitpicks. I definitely recommend this service for anyone who lives in the UK because you get free shipping. And for anybody in Europe, I can't imagine the shipping costs are that prohibitive, but for someone like me here, here in the United States, Ooh, you really got to think about it because uh, shipping these things ain't cheap. But anyway, I want to know what you have to say. Be sure to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the service. If you were to dive into it, which one would you pick? Cassettes, vinyl, comic books, or video games? I really want to know. And I want to thank the Retro Store for sending me these. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I am your Vinyl Geek, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Hey guys, thanks again for checking out this video. Now, if you wanna see more, I put a playlist right there, as well as a video that YouTube will choose for me. So go ahead and click away.